Hello Pisces! Today we'll, we'll take a look in the energies of love uh, around you in the end of February 2022. This spread is the romantic feelings spread and we are going to see what are the feelings that someone is feeling for, for you. This is obviously the, obviously the person on your mind and how they see you and what is the advice that the tarot is giving you to the end of February, okay? So we're using today the romantic tarot from Emanuela Signorini, which is from uh, Los Carabeo. So let's check a little bit your card spices and let's jump right into your reading here. Hope you're all having a great time. We're already in the end of February. 2022 is moving fast, guys. Really moving so, so fast. And a lot of things going on. I mean, I just cannot keep up with everything at work and personal life, you know? But it seems like 2022 started a little bit like, you know, an unboxing video from Pandora, you know, opening her box. <laughs> uh, full of surprises. And some surprises are a little bit, you know, hard to do. But let's go. So, Spirit gives us six cards for Pisces and the romantic feelings of the person that are on their mind. Small hands, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, So we have the Three of Swords, the Moon, and the Four of Swords. And these are what they feel for you. Instead, how they see you is the Ten of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles. Very good. For the final advice from the tarot. Well, let's get the first one that fell. Oh, great. Bottom of the deck. Mm -hmm. the Knight of Wands. Are killing me. Okay, so Pisces, what the person on your mind is feeling for you? Three of Swords, Moon, and Four of Swords. This person 
or this person is a little bit heartbroken and it's coming to you with a heartbreak and a lot of feelings, a lot of feelings of love and passion. And this person sees you, feels for you. I mean, this, this person's heart just beats strong when they see you. It's fast when they see you, okay? So, so yes. Or why do we feel that this is someone that is your ex? Why do we feel that? Why do I feel that? If this person is not your ex, if it's just the person on your mind, Pisces, it's someone that that maybe in the past they tried with you or they invited you out and you said no, okay? And this rejection just, just I mean, filled, <laughs> filled uh, the... the the feelings and the passion that this person feels for you. And at the same time, a little mystery around what you're doing with your feelings, what you're doing with your heart and who you love. So this person wants to know who you love, you know. And if you're hiding some feelings from them also. But they, they want to get with you. They want to celebrate with you. They want to share moments with you. They see... Uh, they see a partnership, a happy partnership with you. How they see you, the Ten of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles. They see you as majorly abundant and someone that can not only have abundance, but, you know... Uh, M multiply and keep that keep that abundance a long time you know so this person sees you as not not only someone that is abundant now that is a coronation of their dreams but you are abundant you know alongside your life and also, I have to say that, you know, these two cards here, you see there are two girls that they are uh, dressed very simply. They, they don't have like, you know, fancy dresses or because here you have someone that work, you know, with, with animals and this lady here, she cleans the house. So this person sees you as a very simple person, you know, down to earth. Your feet are well uh, placed in the ground. You're not someone that that mistreats others because of your abundance, of because of your money. You are a very down to earth person. And I see that they admire you very, very much for that. They admire you for you, for your beauty, for your abundance, but especially for your simplicity, for your humbleness, okay? The advice here of the tarot, and we have once more pentacles here. So, you know, pentacles are tangible things, and this is already the third card. So, I would like to say that... This person is really thinking, you know, the practical side with you. They really see you as someone that they can easily figure out, like uh, their husband or wife, uh, like the mother or the father of their children, and someone that they can be together forever, you know? And the advice here with the with the King of Pentacles is that, you know, as this person sees you uh, as so, someone very abundant, uh, maybe maybe the, the tarot is giving you the advice not to cling too much for material things, you know, because also another message 
can can be that with these two cards here is how your person sees you Pisces is that you are someone um, that is really uh, concentrated and dedicated to earthly things I mean to making your money to, to you know I mean gathering all your riches and you know uh, saving money for your future but the tarot is saying that you know you don't need to be so much focused on these material things okay you can also um you can also dedicate some some moments and times for the good things in life you know to smell the flowers and go on a date and have experiences and 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 dedicate yourself to the passions of your life to the feelings um, put a little bit of fire in your in your day-to-day uh, -day life okay that is much it yes have a new a new point of view you know don't be so much focused on the same thing you see because abundance is here abundance is here a new beginning now someone here is is too much focused on the pentacle, yeah. Okay, Pisces, let's see what the Romance Angel Oracle cards can give us to complete this message for you. Do you know what are the energy energies around your the person on your mind and you and the end of February 2022. children bottom of the deck romantic feeling so children your love life is being affected by children and romantic feelings your feelings are real and worth exploring well this message right here i think that connects with this maybe you have some secret feelings for this person and you don't want to show and they also have secret feelings for you <laughs> you know secret romantic feelings and you're not communicating okay so your feelings are real and worth exploring Pisces and if your love life is being affected by children maybe you have children or this person have children and it is very important for you to uh, to understand how you're going to interact and integrate your families together you know uh, what what will be the loyalty here uh, indicated by this dog so what what will be the loyalty that you have for your you know for your family once you all will be together as one big family you know so that's what i have for you pisces thank you very much for sharing your time with me and till next time bye bye